Hey folks, Nathan here from Star Wars Beyond the Films, the Star Wars Timeline Gold, and Cloud City Casino, a Star Wars gaming podcast at StarWarsReport.com, bringing you a look at one of the two starters for Star Wars Destiny from Fantasy Flight Games, their new dice and card game. We will have a second video shortly after this to look at the other starter. This is the Ray starter set. And the focus here is basically on what's in the starter for that 15 bucks. I will have another video up at some point, hopefully soon, with my thoughts on this game and its rather different, more classic business model. Uh, but that's not this. It, this really is the place for that if we're going to just look at what's in it. So this is the Ray Starter Set. may not have found these in your stores yet because of how much it costs and the time that's used to make these custom dice and the, sh the huge print run they're trying to do for this first batch. They're having to break that first print run up into four different batches. So you had some of them go out on December 1st, some will go out about December 15th, some on the 22nd, some in January. So just know that if you haven't seen them in local shops yet, but you've seen them put orders in or heard that they put orders in, it's coming, just isn't there yet. So we have, of course, the rules of the game, which are pretty straightforward. They're handled on just one double-sided large sheet here, not nearly as complex a game as many of the other Fantasy Flight games, Star Wars games. You have one reference card that comes with it that has actions on one side, dice symbols on the back to help make sure that you're clear as you're playing. Okay. There will be a location, okay, a battlefield card here with each of these, one in play in the game at any given time. In this case, it is Starship Graveyard on Jakku that comes with rays. And then you're going to need two or more heroes as you play. And in this case, the two heroes that the Ray starter comes with are Ray and Finn. Notice here that Finn only has one die. Ray has two. And they're different colors. Yellow for Finn and blue for Ray. There are yellow, blue, red, as we see over here, and gray as we see up here, cards and dice in the game. And you are limited in how you put your deck together based on the colors of your heroes and whatnot in relation to the colors of the cards that you want to actually use within your deck. So you got your heroes. Your heroes are going to be set up before you have your deck shuffled or anything. They're sitting out already ready to go. There's a battlefield in play, yours or the other players, depending on who rolled the highest number to begin with. And a reference card sitting out there to help you play. Now, as far as these dice go, very nice quality dice. It looks like a sticker. It's not. It is printed directly onto the die. Really high quality dice here. I do like the quality of the material they've got here. And the cards are nice and high quality, all with a similar backside here. That looks a little bit different than the other games, so it's not as easy to get confused if you're getting your cards mixed together between different Fantasy Flight games, Star Wars games. All right, so then for our deck, we have the gray support card of BB-8, which has a die. Blue support card, or blue upgrade card, excuse me, Jedi Robes with a blue die. And then the blue force throw ability upgrade die uh, and card. Then... We have a red weapon upgrade, which is the F-11D or F-11D rifle, which has, of course, a die with it. Ray's staff is another weapon upgrade, this one gray, uh, factionless, so to speak, with a die. And then a lightsaber there in blue with a blue die. Then your other cards that don't have dice with them are going to be support card Awakening, of which you have two. You get the gray ones, which can go in any type of deck, with flank, take cover, close quarters combat, daring escape, aim, dodge, and block. Then we have a pair of blue cards, which are event cards in this case. Use the force and heroism. Two yellow, let the Wookiee win an unpredictable. And another yellow, draw attention. You'll notice all these, once we got to gray, all the gray, all the blue, all the yellow here, these are event cards. They're kind of like interrupts in some games. You play it, it has an immediate effect, then it gets discarded. As opposed to support cards, 
which sit out alongside your heroes as you're playing. It can be used turn after turn after turn. And of course, upgrades and such get played onto characters. Okay? Uh, there's a good video up, well, it's about 16 minutes, I think it is, on the Fantasy Flight Games website and YouTube channel that has a good ex explanation of how this game plays. You also have your tokens that you'll need. Five shield tokens that all look like a Mandalorian helmet. You have eight uh, resource tokens there. That's what you use to pay for playing cards like these up there in the left corner. You have seven damage cards worth one damage and five worth three damage. Okay. And that's all you need as one player to play Destiny. Unlike most Fantasy Flight games, Star Wars games, when you buy just the initial box, you cannot play a game of Star Wars Destiny just with this $15 set. This is one player's side. In order to have someone to play against, you're going to need somebody to pick up another starter set, probably the Kylo Ren one, to be able to play. Keep that in mind. So if you're going to try to pick up enough of this so you can play any time, even if the other person who's going to play with you doesn't have any cards yet, you're going to need to pick up two starters, probably the Rey and Kylo Ren ones. Speaking of the Kylo Ren one, we'll look at the contents of it next.